Welcome back. My name is Nick, and I have Taylor here with me. And today we're talking about uh, Succession season four, episode three. Spoilers, just in case if you haven't watched the episode, I recommend you watch the episode before we're trying to watch anything online. If you did, too late. Oh well. One, two, three. Logan died. Uh, it was on a in a bathroom on a plane, and we're gonna jump into all the details here. Um, it was a very good episode with pacing and camera work and acting and writing. A lot of good stuff going on here. And uh, just so you know, we have a, a Greg t-shirt on the bestnerdyshirts.com. Greg's not really in this episode, but he might have leaked something um, <laughs> on bestnerdyshirts.com. Go check it out. By the way, every comment and every video is entered in at the end of the month to win a shirt. So uh, comment down below things you like, dislike about the episode. But now we're jumping into it. Taylor, how are you doing? Yeah, I guess I, it's super unexpected. So in shock, I guess. Yeah. It's so funny because <laughs> but... I started the episode before Taylor and she's like, okay, I want to start now. I'm like, don't go on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. What a day for me to be like, yeah, I'm going to watch it. I'm just going to eat some enchiladas first. I'm going to like, you know get ready for it and just quite an episode to just leisurely you know <laughs> start yeah um but at the same time it's like shouldn't we have seen this coming i feel like they were totally setting this up how did we not see this coming <laughs> i mean he was debating about life and his afterlife like crazy in the last couple episodes yeah so. and like just like forgiving asking for forgiveness of the kids uh -huh. yeah. like in a way that we've never seen him before it's like Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. It's so funny. In our prediction videos, I was like, someone's going to die this season. I just don't know who. I'm like, is it going to be Kendall? Is it going to be Logan? And then Taylor had the um, whole idea of uh, Lo Logan's brother, mm -hmm. which is still a possibility. We don't know yet. The season, season's not done. It could but, get pretty crazy from here. And it makes so much sense, I guess, from, you know, knowing that this is the last season. Yeah. It's kind of like, okay, the, the theoretical is not theoretical anymore it's happening yeah. and so it kind of like I, I think i'm like i'm so foolish for thinking that this wasn't gonna happen <laughs> you know um, and it's about succession right now they're really they re you really have to have a succession now at this point yeah the king yeah, is and it's dead like, yeah is is what we've been waiting for this whole series just gonna come down to like he scribbled it on a note or something oh, on a no. post-it note yeah. the girlfriend knows <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> did you watch the the um promo for the next the, for the rest of the season yeah yeah i did it i did watch good. the promo it looks really good um okay so let's so at the beginning let's start off where logan calls um <laughs> roman he's like hey son like like this really weird like like pacing and tone like it's it's like really awkward and then he tells you know roman that he needs to let go of shiv and that whole no thing. no jerry jerry sorry yes yes jerry <laughs> thank you yes and he tells and then that there's that whole thing and then gosh like and then he gives him the the message back he leaves a voicemail message on the phone to his dad which he doesn't know if his dad heard it or not at this point which is like oh anything with death and stuff like that happens is just so crazy but then they all get trapped on a boat and this message just hits and it hits so good timing and pacing wise at the end of the episode they do like a breakdown thing they talk about how they shoot on film for for this show and the max amount of time you can really shoot on film is like 10 minutes they were saying and mm -hmm. they shot for 20 minutes, 27 minutes straight, the whole sequence without a cut. Oh, yeah. And I they were, that. they were talking about how they were like switching cameras and just cause they wanted it to play out like real time, what was going on. And you totally got that with the edits and the pacing and the timing, how they kept calling back, hang up, call back, go, go find Shiv. And, and also too, I don't know if, if I, I don't know if you were thinking the same thing, but I was like, when are they going to grab Connor? <laughs> I know. I was like, there's no mention of Connor through all this until they see him. They're like, oh, yeah, we're on Connor's boat for his party. And we totally forgot about Connor. <laughs> it's like, poor Connor. Poor Connor. Um, but not poor Connor. He had a no, good ending. He's happy. Yeah, no, Connor's the only happy one in the bunch. Like we talked about last episode. It was like, I mean, just like, even if it's not real, witnessing somebody being resuscitated is kind of traumatic. Like, I kind of yeah. felt sick. Um, yeah. But then... And it was kind of like, you know, watching a lot of it through my hands. And then when they showed Connor getting married, I did start to tear up a little bit. <laughs> At the end, yeah. It was nice to see a, a full arc for him. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know what else we're going to get out of his story at this point. But I feel like that's his arc, right? Like, he finally found love. I don't know how involved he's going to be in the board dealings and how much of his vote is actually going to be accounted for or any of that right. stuff. I, I really yeah. don't know. Connor might just be there for emotional and moral support for the trio. If they try mm-hmm. to take the company as a as a group, like, we'll all... You know, I think maybe the deal will fall through. They're going to be like, okay, then let's let's do this like we always want wanted to do it as our company kind of thing, or something. I mean, it's going to be yeah, fun I to play out. It's going to be fun to play out. On paper, I think Connor just has like a slice of a slice because he's mm. never been involved with any of like the big yeah changes. So mm-hmm. yeah, he's. I mean, he'll. I'm sure he'll be around, but yeah, yeah, you're right. It's probably kind of the main thing. But yeah. who, who knows? <laughs> I mean, drama kid, and you know, anything can happen anything can happen like uh maybe he gets more of a percentage but they need him to drop out or something like that um in in, in the polls oh yeah yeah yeah. you know he's he's in the rest of the series because in the in the next episodes we see that he's gearing up the campaign Mm -hmm. still happens okay yeah so i just wanted to um talk about how each sibling like had a talk to logan on speakerphone kind of thing and how intense that all played out and one of the one of the things that um really stuck out to me was Kendall's conversation. How he said he said something like, I can't forgive you, but I love you or something like that. And I was like, yeah, Dang. I was like Damn. That's that's good. But it's like he it's, it's it's his character arc at this point. Logan has really belittled him so many times throughout the seasons, which we saw him really take everything away from him, belittle him and stuff like that. So it's like I understand, like, I can't forgive you, but I do love you kind of thing. Like, I, I kind of get where he's coming from. But, man, it's so rushed to be put on the spot like that on for any for anyone. I can't even imagine. Like, yeah, that's heavy yeah, stuff. And it, I, I think just like their reaction to him. I mean, it's just astonishing acting. Oh, yeah. And, and Fantastic. I, I wonder how much of it even was like. I mean, I'm sure a lot of it was not improv, but kind of like, okay, this is how you're feeling right now. And then just like go with it. Mm. Like you said, the continuous take. But I I really thought it was great how I feel like they really got across that they don't really even care about like the business side of it. Yeah. I, I truly am not convinced that they did at least in this first like few hours or hour or so mm. after it's probably i think this whole episode was probably the span of like an hour <laughs> in yeah. time yeah it was a long episode um, it definitely felt long especially with the pace pacing no we no no, no like, not not oh. not not long i'm saying i'm saying it's just like we are they're not cutting forward two hours in time oh. it's like we i think we're like living the hour with yeah. them because yes, they're in the sky and then they turned around and mm-hmm. yeah so um yeah it was real time for us we were experiencing mm-hmm. it with them and then the phone calls and what statement to make what do we do do we notify this and does this break the deal and then when the girlfriend comes through and she's like smiling and the way she's trying to deal with it and they send her to the back and just like, oh, yeah it's like oh, that, guy, gosh. that guy he was the only person in your corner lady <laughs> well <laughs> you're not gonna be it around sounds like anymore. he's the only person in everyone's corner <laughs> I think yeah. like everyone is going to be gunning for each other. I think this this is a perfect opportunity for the siblings to unite as a front because everyone else is going to be so scared for their job. They're going to be willing to backstab and betray everyone else just so mm-hmm. they can stay somewhere with a with a pay paycheck or something like that, which would be very, very interesting to see. Um, and um, one other thing they mentioned at the at the end of the episode was they wanted to show a modern death because of the new like because of the way we live and we can travel and because we all have cell phones it's like the way people deal with death in the modern age where it is over the phone and it's not like everyone's living together and with each other and they all go to the hospital it's like everyone's kind of calling in from different places trying to figure out what's going on like wait wait what's happening with the hospital it's like the passing around of phones and trying to find a doctor and the the stress and chaos Mm -hmm. of you're, you're helpless just on a phone trying to get a solution like when kendall was like get every doctor we have on the phone like you know you're just like it's like and then it's like i want to i want to talk to the pilot and he's just like the pilot is flying the plane he can't talk to you right now you know what i mean but it's like it's so true though because you want to just be able to do something and you're like helpless and you're just on on a phone and it was they did such a good job with the filming and pacing and acting and 
I can't. I mean, it's probably the strongest episode this season so far. Definitely, um, yeah. And, and it's gonna be. I don't want to say it's gonna be tough to to keep the pace going, but I'm gonna miss Brian Cox. I know. Like, I, I like crazy. That's, that's who I was sad about. I like wasn't even sad about Logan. <laughs> just like he's such him. a good actor. I'm like, is he dead? Is he still alive? No, he's still alive. No, he's still alive. And it, he does it, McDonald's commercials. He does McDonald's. <laughs> Have you seen those? No. I was like, this voice sounds familiar. I'll send it to you. He's like a narrator on McDonald's commercials. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, it, oof, gosh. Okay, so I had a question. So there's that moment when Tom calls Greg and he mm-hmm. talks about a file on his computer. He wants him to delete, right? Logistics. So there was something going on kind of thing. Maybe he was planning something with his death or something like that, like a call to order or how to mm. pass the company. What do you, what do you think that was? Like, what, what, why was it so important for Greg to delete it as soon as possible? And okay, why let's... trust Greg when he kept paperwork before? He's literally going to download this thing onto a flash drive and hold on to it. <laughs> He's going to, he looks out for himself, Greg, as we've, as, as we've learned, he looks out for himself. So we'll see. He just says he has a trustable face. He's so cute. You just want to trust him. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I'm I'm curious to see. I'm I'm so excited for the rest of the season to see how the succession plays out now. Yeah, I mean, you would. There has to be one. I, yeah, that's that's mm-hmm. the thing. Is like, how is there? How is there a question of it? Isn't this something that's like literally on paper somewhere? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't think it would be on Tom's computer alone. Like for just a family, a normal family, you have to have like a trust and stuff. So it's like, obviously they're going to have it for this huge company. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I guess there's still drama ahead though. If the promos are any indication. (laughs) Yeah, promos and also just them having to to make the statement well, and and not the the company people they're like no we yeah, have to do it they're, yeah everyone's already making plays to to win at this point it's like yes you have to grieve but this one thing that we say can alter the stock the shareholders to all this stuff that they have to get together to become ceos and look strong and yeah well, let me, sorry, let me back up because mm-hmm. we're just like reacting to this right after yes. what I just said about the trust and there has to be something in place. Oh, yeah. Maybe mm-hmm. with a public company, there doesn't have to be because that's the whole point of having like a board is that you're kind of you like vote. spreading out mm-hmm. the leadership. So yeah. yeah, I guess just delete all about the past <laughs> 20 <laughs> seconds. It's all, yeah, it probably is up in the air. But yeah, you'd think that at least he'd have ma- wanted to make his desires known somehow, mm. but at the same time, he didn't ever seem too confident in what he wanted to be the plan. He didn't think yeah. that he would die. But anyways, mm. yeah. Uh, I see that um, on the on like the poster for this new season. Okay. Mm-hmm. There was like a there was a plane in the reflection of the the skyscraper oh. they're like standing in. Dang foreshadowing yeah dang the plane foreshadowing i mean yeah it's so interesting too like it happens on a plane but i guess it it's great for story pacing too for it to happen because there is like an hour before the plane lands before you can actually get to a doctor and since it since it's a private jet unless he travels with a doctor it's like there's it's not like they can be like is there a doctor on the plane and you know like a doctor i'm i'm a doctor and they stand up it's like literally you just have the flight attendants well, and I feel like it was something that they discovered, like, it wasn't like he stood up and passed out in front of everybody. Yeah. It kind of seemed like he was probably alone for a little bit, which, mm. you know, obviously every second count matters in that situation. So I guess also something aside, reacting in real time, the LA Times posted an actual obituary for Logan Roy. <laughs> <laughs> they did? So it's like, we don't have to worry about spoilers. <laughs> like <the> spoilers. <laughs> There's everyone's no, gonna know but about you gotta watch edit it live this, yeah about them i edit this and get it up everyone's <laughs> gonna know <laughs> so like where, where do they go from here taylor it's the executives versus the siblings so the trio i mean remember we've stated before all three of them combined are like logan they all have different 
unique um, at attributes about themselves, which could make Logan or not make Logan, but that strong business like mindset of Logan where they can run a company, but maybe with fresh ideas. Not holding on to old media, but actually challenging modern media and technology and social media and all that stuff. But I mean, it's yeah. going to be very interesting. Yeah, I have a feeling that the siblings might get what they always wanted, but will they be? It, it might leave mm. on a note of like they have what they wanted. Is Was it, it enough? It? I don't know. No. I could kind of see that happening. Because now, because their stock price dropped like crazy, do they even have the funds to buy the other company? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Because like the whole thing was playing on these funds that they have. Like, oh, are we going to be able to buy this once the company sells? And they're like, wait, let's try to get more money. Now that Logan's gone, the 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 stocks is even less than probably what they were originally going to get in the re- original deal. Where I think what's going to happen, they're maybe going to be like, is it even worth worth it for us to sell still or do we hold on to it and try to rebuild the brand and get the you know get the money back it's going to be very interesting because they're going to have only a few different options to choose from and they have to trust each other that's what it's going to come down to yeah i think what it like in the next episode it's really just going to be about like matson because it was supposed to be the day the next day of the wedding the day after the wedding was supposed to be the sale so mm. that's probably what's going to be obviously the focus so the next two episodes was it the actual wedding day when they were on the yacht yeah oh okay i, I didn't know if it was like a party before the wedding yeah I was a yeah you're i think you're you're right to be confused about that but i think the idea was like um that those all those seats in when they just elope or get married at the end uh-huh. connor and willa it's like those seats were supposed to be filled Oh, okay. So I okay, because I get I get the idea that they got married, but mm. I don't know. Did everyone leave because of the news with Logan? Yeah, I or, think so. Okay, that's probably part of the arc where it's like Connor's so concerned with what everybody thinks, mm. and it's just kind of like, all right, well, I, he's like he's like everyone's gonna think that you left me, and I'm like, uh, no, they're not. Your dad just died. Yeah. Like, no one's gonna think that. But anyways, yeah, I'm happy for Connor. I'm happy. He's happy. We'll He's... see what happens. What comes of his presidential bid? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll definitely see. We didn't get much of Greg in this episode, but we'll probably get a lot of fumbling Greg coming up, kind of switching sides because we know Tom's going to be bidding in, and we know the siblings are going to be bidding in, and we'll see what happens. Because I, I mean, um, Shiv does not trust Tom at this point. Uh, I mean, after she he, he betrayed, but like after the the huge betrayal. Like she probably wants to trust him, but then she knows like his bottom line is just his own bottom line, which is which is fair. Everyone's looking out for themselves, and that's not that's probably the number one rule is you can't trust anyone. Yeah, which sucks. It's a terrible. I know rule. when they were when they were separating, like after you know they were leaving the airport mm-hmm. or the tarmac. Yeah. I just thought about how none of them have anyone to go to. You know, no. I'm like, can you guys have like a sleepover or something? <laughs> like, I mean, don't go you would think yourself. they they should all stay together at least. The I know, right? But yeah. they're adults. <laughs> yeah. And then some interesting moments. I thought it was interesting that Shiv wanted it to be her mom and not her dad on the call. Yeah. When they're sitting around, I was like, oh, dang, that's that's pretty that's pretty intense. And there was a there was, there was a lot of great. I don't want to say great moments, but a lot of good acting plot points and moments in just the whole give us five let's discuss people come in with new news you do do you already know who told you like how quick the information got out and stuff like that i I have to say she looks like she just caught a foul ball at yankee stadium is probably one of my favorite tom lines if not one of my favorite lines is so yeah (laughs) it's like oh my god yeah it was perfect Uh (laughs) that's so funny yeah when when she came through yeah (laughs) um so yeah, I'm super excited. Uh, comment down below what you think is going to happen in the next season. Is there any other thoughts or stuff you want to talk about? I mean, that's it. Like, I mean, there's not much more to talk about than what happened kind of thing. There's a little bit of subtext, but we'll probably get a lot of that in the next episode where we'll get more meat and potatoes of what's happening with the deals and the, the negotiation and stuff like that. But 
Yeah, and again, like we're just reacting to this right after watching it, so I'm sure we'll ourselves have more thoughts on it <laughs> later, but yeah. we'll see. Yeah, yeah. what it, happens, what everyone says mm -hmm. online and stuff. Yeah, exactly. It might it, we need to take in the information. Hopefully, maybe we'll see what our schedule looks like to maybe do one midweek. We don't know. If not, we will be here at the next episode. So subscribe to get all the updates. Comment down below thoughts and opinions and stuff, what you think is going to happen next episode. And if you go to thebestnerdyshirts.com, you can get your cousin Greg's shirt. And uh, every comment's entered to win a shirt. And I'm just saying and, and. We'll see you on the next. Oh, wait, wait, did you want to say something else? Yeah, I just don't want to let go of the baby's theory. I think there's still a baby. That's Anyways. right. There could definitely be a baby. <laughs> That's right. We can't forget about the baby theory. She she hopped in the car and drove away, but she can come back Hashtag with the baby theory. With, um, or I always think of a, a Arrested Development where she has the fake baby suit. And yeah. <laughs> we'll see you on the next Hazard. <laughs> Bye. A baby suit. Oh, my gosh. That would be hilarious baby. to have a baby suit. <laughs>